I had the pleasure of going to Clarksdale, Mississippi while on a trip for work. And in Clarksdale, Mississippi, if you are familiar with Robert Johnson, the famous blues singer, uh, really a lot of people attribute and give him credit for uh, inventing rock and roll that we listen to today. Many of the artists that we listen to were inspired by him back in the day. Um, there's a lot of myths associated with him. But anyways, had the pleasure of going to uh, Robert Johnson's Crossroads. If you look and watch the rest of this video, you'll see uh, where it is located on the map. It's in a city called Clarksdale, uh, Mississippi. And while you're there, go to the Delta Blues Museum. I would strongly recommend the Delta Blues Museum. You will see some photos of that on there. Check it out. It's awesome. It's great. If you are sort of a folklore kind of guy, or you are interested in Robert Johnson, or like me as a kid, seeing the movie Crossroads with Ralph Macchio really kind of uh, drew me into the story of Robert Johnson. And a uh, great movie, by the way, from 1986. Anyhow, uh, check it out, go there. Definitely worth the visit. Great place, Clarksdale, Mississippi. John Lee Hooker Avenue, another famous blues man. This is a pavilion where they do concerts at certain times of the year. Beautiful looking place, very old. Just feels great to be there though. And you can see how large the grounds are of the museum as well. Really, really neat to be there. The following photos are from the museum. I got permission to take the photos by asking them. Otherwise, I would not have taken these photos because there are some signs that say, do not take photos inside the museum. However, they were okay with it. One of the many BB King guitars, another amazing blues man. As you can see, if you look really close here, the train has been here for a really long time. You'll notice weeds and brush growing up around these trains uh, that are here. Been here a long time. Right here on the map, you will see where it is located and some landmarks. Do not use Apple Maps as Apple Maps will take you to the wrong location. So this is the crossroads right here. You can see on the map, if you back up a little bit where it's located, again, don't use Apple Maps, but really amazing to be here. Also, the movie really inspired me to read up on Robert Johnson's story. There is also a documentary on Netflix that talks about Robert Johnson and all the things associated with him. Really, really neat to be there. I would definitely check it out. This is the best view of the photos that I took of the crossroads. This tree is the closest thing next to the crossroads that reminds me of the view from the movie.
So here is where people typically park, and then I'm going to walk toward the crossroads that were famous for his story and where it sort of all began. You can see right here, you go up over these railroad tracks, really, really old pylons in there. And just to, obviously, I'm sure some just great stories over the many decades that this has been here. And so here it is. Take a look at this video here as we wrap it up. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I'm just sort of getting the hang of this YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of this. Thank you again for watching, and again, check it out if you're a blues fan or a rock and roll fan or just like history or whatever. If you're in the area, go check it out. You'll absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this, and uh, thanks for watching.